right, it's Colin here from Band App. I'm here with Janet and Cam from Tonight Alive. How you doing, guys? Great, so good, man. Oh, here we've got to share. <laughs> bring it in, bring it in. So uh, you, you just finished your uh, set on the main stage. How the hell was that? Unreal. Pretty sick. It yeah. Was fucking awesome. Nice Hard reaction. to describe, to be honest. Like yeah. we uh, waited for it for months. So. Oh man, that's so cool. We had everyone yeah. in our ears telling us what it was going to be like, and we'd never even been to Reading and Leeds, so um, we didn't know what to expect. But our fans just made it like any Tonight Live show, except like a hundred times bigger. Oh so. wow! So how was Leeds <laughs> on Friday then? So um, a lot of people kind of say that Leeds is a little bit more casual if you saw what I mean. I think we were very lucky that we got to play Leeds first then Reading. Yeah. Um, because we were very nervous but Leeds was actually really chill. So it took all the pressure off today because it went really well. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You guys managed to check out any other bands while you've been out? Everyone. Yeah, we, we've done our best. We've um, we've got a lot of friends on the festival. Oh, you, okay. me at Six, Young Guns, yep. Don Broco. Yep. We watched the Sorry whole, so far. The whole main stage except for Macklemore. Oh, fantastic. No offense, Macklemore. So were you in, no offense, did you like come here yesterday or it's was it? Reason. Did you guys come here yesterday or was it staying in Leeds yesterday? We or? were here yesterday actually, which was great because we um, we got to see Broco. They yeah. went, we went on the they same were day. They incredible. They kind of yeah. clashed the Marmosets, which was a shame because I like did both they? bands. Yeah. The played earlier in the day. They did, but I was doing interviews, so oh, I couldn't go to see it, which kind of sucked. I had to make a choice, well, but I'd seen Don Broca yeah. before, yeah. so. We That's love them. And um, I also watched Deantwood from um, South Africa. All oh, right. I love them. I don't know what it is about them. They're kind of weird, freaky, like That's always good. Experimental. Different is good. I loved it. I was like, uh, you know, so we well kind of been in a rock band or something, but like listening to other music is kind of what makes you yeah, better appreciate within your it. genre. Sure. Absolutely. That's what kind Dude, of way exactly. I they're not a band, they're a duo and they rap and it's so it's kind of sounds so European to me. Like I Okay. I've never I feel like I can't compare it to anything else and I, I that's why I enjoy it. Yeah. So ah, it's always it's good been to have a, good a little time. bit different. So uh, do you wanna tell us a little bit about being on the Spider Man 2 soundtrack? Yeah, sure. So that was quite a surreal experience maybe or how did that come about yeah um well we just got it was kind of like it was just kind of like a phone call type of thing where we had the opportunity and it was just a, it was a what's that no brainer it was like yeah. absolutely we're in it um we wrote three songs and the edge um just kind of was the most natural and felt the best and i think it's one of the best songs that we ever yeah. ended up writing yeah, we, anyway, we I think we were like literally less than a week away from flying out back to the UK to start the all-time low tour at the start of the year, yeah. and so we had to shoot the video, and we went and got like tried to get a bunch of different rooftops in Sydney, which <laughs> kept being denied, denied, denied. We ended up getting this one. It was so small and shit, and they were like, "Don't worry, don't worry, it's, it's gonna be CGI. It's, it's gonna be yeah. CGI. You'll be fine. You'll be fine." <laughs> we're like, "Oh fuck." Anyway, start <laughs> start playing, and it starts pissing down rain. rain. Like, where'd you guys do that? In New York, I suppose. Yeah. I don't well, it was actually Sydney, but. Oh, right, okay. it looked like yeah, I was gonna say, it was yeah. um, all edited to look like New York. <laughs> yeah, as Cam said, it was. We were like, "Is this really where we're making the video?" So the reality of the situation was, we were on a shitty rooftop. It was pissing down rain. Everybody was drenched and just pissed off. And then afterwards, we saw the finished result, like, and it was like CGI oh. New York background, raindrops like in slow motion, and we were like, "Oh, cool." It's gonna be the same <laughs> like Total Recall, like yeah, banking a holiday, isn't it? It's gonna be doing that soon. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. So uh, oh, you released your second album. The other side? Yes. Uh, lastly, like widespread acclaim, so they did really, really well. Are you Thank guys you. working on another one? or just? We are. Ah, okay. We are. We've been writing since the beginning of 2013. God, that's a long time. Shivers, that's been ages. So did you just kind of finish an album yeah. then immediately start the next one? Yeah, we don't really stop writing. When no, that's cool. I know that some bands deliberately go into a studio to write a record, but we've always kind of written as we've gone. Uh, we wrote the whole other side on the road. So yeah. this this album so far has kind of been the same, but we're at a kind of fork in the road where we want to mix it up a bit and experiment, try different things. So when we get back to Australia, we're going to get in the studio, jam a bit, see yeah. what happens. No, I guess we want to freshen up the sound a bit. Yeah. I've seen a few bands. Um, you know, if you kind of don't keep writing, you kind of almost can kind of forget how to do it. If you yeah, see what I mean, and if you're not, out. and if you're not getting ideas down, you know, when when it's happening, then you know that's that's gone. Absolutely. You I mean. so, I'm a person that's always got my phone and I'm recording yeah. a little idea uh yeah so we we do it as we go that's pretty cool so if you guys i think you've got a tour coming up in november or something haven't you is that right or yeah. we do headlining tour in november it's um gonna be the first time that we're headlining a lot of the big rooms that we were originally the support band for all right yeah. cool so what venues so are you playing cool. um we are doing two cocos we are doing awesome. that's manchester, a great venue by the way manchester academy we're doing what are we doing in glasgow abc is it called the abc in glasgow is that a thing uh, do you know it's what? Like, I don't actually I, know. We played King Tut's a few times, so oh, now right, it's like okay. we're stepping up. I don't know, it's just kind of like a special rite of passage for us. It's kind of like a circle of life in a way because when we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> when we... It, 
back in Sydney, there was a venue called the Metro Theatre in yeah. Sydney, and we supported bands there three or four times in over a course of a couple of years. And then when we put out our first record, What Are You So Scared Of, we headlined it. And it just kind of feels like yeah. that we're finally doing that in another country. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, I think we've come a long way, but we always feel that we have a long way to go. So we're always reaching as high as we can. No, that's a good way to be, can. though, isn't it? Just have that kind of, towards you know, freedom. It's the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, nice simple one. If you could choose the headliners for next year's Reading or Leeds, who would they be? And you can have dead people as well, just to throw it out there. Here, I'll say yours and you say mine. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to pretend we're telepathic. At the same time? Oh, no, it's okay, you go. Cam would pick the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Jen would pick Rage Against the Machine. Ah. This is true. And Matt would pick Michael Bublé. <laughs> Wack would pick Thrice. Yeah. Oh, and Jake good would choice. pick Mumford and Sons. So there you go. Good choices, guys. That's tonight Alive's really well, lineup for Reading Leeds 2015. Yeah. Happy days. Well, guys, thank you so much for your <laughs> time. You. It's been really nice chatting with you. Enjoy the rest of the day now that you're done and thank chill you. out. And, uh, yeah. All the best. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Do you mind?